What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new top 5 video. And today we are taking a look at top 5 in a base dinos. That was pretty cool. This is the, so this is the first time I've actually worn proper tech armor as well so I'm a bit excited about it. Now, you're probably wondering why we don't have any pants on and boots. Well, I've got a good reason for that. I didn't spawn them in. Yeah, that's my, that's my perfect reasoning. So that's the reason why we don't have pants so don't judge me. But like I said, today we'll be taking a look at top five inner base dinos. So what we're going to include in this list are dinos that you can fit comfortably inside your base that don't take up too much room. So anything pretty much larger than a raptor, we're not including in this list. So, you know, you kind of narrowed down. You can see these dinos here. I mean, probably, okay, well, still getting used to the jetpack and everything. Now, the beavers aren't also going to be in this list. So, you know, raptors, anything smaller than a raptor is pretty much what's going to be in this list. All right, so first off, we're going to get straight into it, and these are in no particular order once again. You can already see what are included. Number one is the little Dimorphodon. Now, these guys don't look formidable by themselves, but you grab a whole pack of these guys, and they will shred any dino, any rider. Now, you can see here, this, is a, this hasn't leveled up at all. This was a max tame level 150, and it's got 675 base health and 267 melee damage, which is a rather high amount. Now, you level these guys up in a bit of movement speed, a bit of health, and a bit of melee damage, and they'll easily be able to track down and kill any dino rider that tries and attacks your base. Now, the good thing about these guys is that they actually attack the rider as well as the dino, though they more focused on the rider. So, you know, if you ever get base invaders and they come in with their dinos and, you know, accidentally break a wall, like a gate frame, for example, and you've got a whole bunch of these guys in your base ready to pounce, they're going to have, like, I'd, I'd say at least 10 of these guys gathered in your base. They're going to have a pack of Dimorphodons on them, just absolutely destroying them. Especially if they don't have decent leveled armor, like Mastercraft or, you know, Ramshackle stuff. So, you know, it's going to be very hard for them to counter these Dimorphodons. Number four is the Dilophosaurus, or the Dilo for short. Now, this guy is, I, I think he's invaluable. I think he's rather well at base defense. Now, the reason why I've included this guy is because of his poison spit that he shoots out of his mouth. That blinds players, which, you know, I think is rather handy in terms of players coming in to try and read your stuff, and they're blinded all of a sudden to get swarmed on by a bunch of other dinos. Granted, these guys don't have the greatest amount of health and melee damage. They are still rather formidable, especially with their spit slowing and blinding players. Okay, that was the jetpack, never mind. So, yeah, that's why these guys are number four on the list. Like I said, this is in no particular order. But yeah, so just think about it. If you, say, have one of these guys stuck behind some walls or a gate frame, like a second layer kind of thing, and they break through and boom, you've got these guys on aggressive, they're just going to lay the spit on the attacker. And if you have, like, say, for example, five of them, that's five spits you've got going at the enemy, going straight for them. Now, even if they are on a dino, they are actually able to slow down the dino. So, if, say, for example, your Dimorphodons could finish them off easier. Number three is the Microraptor. Now, this cute, adorable little fluffy guy is responsible for knocking riders off their dinos. You pair this guy with your whoop, Dimorphodons, you're going to have an invaluable army. Okay, well, that was cool. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting used to the tech stuff, like I said. Um, so, yeah, so that's why these guys are definitely worthy of being on this list because of the fact that they're able to knock their riders off their dinos. And, you know, that's obviously handy because then you don't have to face the dino that is present you just have to face the rider as well as that they also stun the rider so like i said dimorphodons dillos they can easily finish them off so you know these guys all work in conjunction conjunction with each other which is why you need to kind of have like a group of them instead of just an individual dino number two is the trudon now this guy is a ferocious little hunter scouter dino whatever you want to call him but they're also rather good for base defense now the reason is because of their high torpor attack now Keep in mind, you can swap these guys out for, say, scorpions or packy rhinos if you want a stronger, more formidable dino. Granted, those scorpions and the packy will still fit in your base rather comfortably. I opted to go with these guys because of the amount of torpor damage they do, which is slightly higher than the scorpion and the packy, which is why these guys are part of it. Now, as well as that, they also have some other formidable traits about them like their large health pool 1200 health which is whew, it's high as well as that these guys are rather speedy unlike the scorpion and the packy that's why these guys are included at number two on this list and just look at them they're ferocious and at night time their little eyes grow low up and they they are even more intimidating so you know make sure you include these guys in your base defense and finally number one 
one of the newest additions to Ark, the Kentrosaurus. Now, don't let this guy's size fool you. Look at these, whoa, okay. These spiky thorns on him, they're, they're dangerous. Look at the size of them on his tail. They're bigger than the bloody Stegos, I think. So this guy actually is able to pin players with his tail and that causes a bleeding effect and as well as that, it armor pierces. So even if they're wearing flak armor, it pierces through that and does extra damage to them, which, you know, is incredible. Now the funny thing is, is that these guys do the bleed effect, which deals damage to the maximum health. So 1% of their maximum health is deteriorated. Now, for example, say you've got Giganotosaurus is attacking your base. If you have a herd of these, say, what, four or five of them, and they go after the Giganotosaurus, they'll easily tear him apart because of the amount of health he does. These guys will easily reflect the damage that he does back onto the Giga, which is rather impressive. Now, one thing that I did forget to mention is that some of these dinos benefit from being in packs. So the Dimorphodon and the Kentrosaurus actually benefit from there being more than one of their type. So they gain heal... Sorry, they gain damage resistance and damage multiplier. So they do more damage and take less damage, which is rather effective. And like I said, these guys can pin players. You've got a wandering enemy in your base, and you've got these guys set to aggressive. Well, they'll be stuck here on the tail. Just, just imagine it for a sec. If my jetpack doesn't... We, there we go. There we go. Perfect. So just imagine being impaled on these spikes. Not standing on them. Impaled. That's what will happen to the enemy as they come through your base. And if you have other dinos, for example, other Kentrosauruses, Dimorphodons, Dillos, Trudons, whatever you want to include in them, you know, these guys are easily going to tear that player apart, even if they have tech armor on. So, you know, you've got to take this into consideration for these guys as well. But other than that, guys, that'll be my top five list for today. I definitely think you should include these guys in your base defense, in a base defense, sorry. That's why these guys are all part of that list. I think I've provided reasonable reasons why they are on the list. Let me know what you guys think of this list. Let me know what your list would include down below. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.